Tonight, getting hosed, the veteran's version. He wrote everyone, a congressman, a mayor, a senator, then the CBS2 investigators about his inexplicable $10,000 water bill. And before this story even runs, Vietnam veteran Rodney Andrews is lining up powerful allies to fight it. Hello, she found the pitcher? Oh, great. This is Rodney Andrews' house. But you don't live here. No, I don't, because I don't have any water. There's nothing here. This is the kitchen sink. <laughs> nothing. This is what I'm getting charged for. He owes a staggering $10,700.57. You've never used water here? Never. The story goes... He bought it from a down-on-his-luck buddy in 2003. The buddy agreed to buy it back in two years. But he never bought it back. Now it's Rodney's, and... I didn't know anything about a water bill since I had never owned a house before. In 2007, the bill, still in his friend's name, was 214 bucks. In 2009, still just 676 bucks. Now it's 10 grand. Because Chicago dings you monthly. Estimates based on assessed values, based on square feet, etc. Then pile on penalties for what was water never used. They gave me a payment plan. And I said, I'm not paying nothing. I know that. Who have you written? It's a long list of people. Hit me with it. Congressman Rush. Alderman Bill. Dear Mayor Lightfoot, I need to talk to you about my water situation. He thought one final note might work. A fellow combat veteran. Senator Duckworth, I am 70 years old and a Vietnam veteran. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Like a Vietnam theme song. This is a message, a message to y'all. Together we stand. All the brothers in the NAM First Infantry Division. We asked for something he'd never find in his boxed up life. <laughs> I'm lucky to be here. A picture. Oh yeah, that's me. That's it. <laughs> that's the M16 right there. I was in Cameron Bay, the name. Uh, about uh, Cambodia. Hmm. There's a couple things you don't, you just don't forget. I just remember this one night. We go on bush ambushes. This guy, he, he was barely breathing. The lieutenant emptied his whole clip in his head. <laughs> and you don't forget that. What is What's a harder fight? A fight you survived before or this one with City Hall? This one with City Hall. The pipes are not even connected. Over the past year, CBS2 investigators have saved Larry Richardson. Is the city so in F? Reverend Hickman. Without your help, we would have been nowhere. The Cones. And others. They call us at wit's end. And we call the city and say, hey, it looks like you're hosing this hard-working citizen. And often, without explanation, they drastically drop the bill. So what really happened here? How did Rodney's bill go from a couple hundred to a few hundred to five figures? No, oh, ain't no water in there. No water. Now, the city says Rodney declared his property vacant multiple times at a cost each time. But Rodney, like most humans, or even investigative reporters, have no notion of Chicago's mountain of bureaucratic billing behests. Here's a skinny. Rodney either pays nearly 11 large for the water he never used, or pays $7,800 over time to not live there, just to keep it vacant. A or B, pick your poison. These rules are not widely understood by the public, Alderman Anthony Beal, now on Team Rodney, wrote, Dear Mayor Lightfoot, asking for guidance and assistance. 
Well, we have advised him, Rodney, to talk to the water department, like many people, he has found that to be a difficult task. Ultimately, it's a plea for a Vietnam veteran. I want this to be my last address. At 70 years old, still hustling as a cabbie. As for housing, he's looking to finally make it a home. I got a family want to visit me, but I ain't got no place for them to visit me in. It's, it's a sad state of affairs. So where does Mr. Andrews live now? In a friend's apartment. Late today, while city water bills are not under her purview, Senator Ducksworth's team also reached out to Andrews, hoping to help. So Brad, you've been investigating these water bills for a year now. What is the solution so it doesn't even get to the point where people are getting these exorbitant bills? Yeah, it's probably not a silver bullet, but the city says it's owed anywhere from 400 500 million dollars in water bills. But as we've shown anecdotally, that's a lot of gobbledygook. Why would someone have to pay thousands of dollars just to keep their home vacant? Some people think it has to be some type of amnesty program. Like, wouldn't it be a lot better if you say Rodney moved back into his house, you know, rebuilt it, used water, and was able to rebuild the neighborhood versus having this exorbitant bill that will keep him from his house forever? Right, right. All right. We'll see. Thank you, Brad. Mm -hmm.